What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so as you can see, I wasn't kidding. This is gonna take a damn near hour. And I will tell you why, because of my uh, lack of training and all that stuff. You'll see. Anywho, here we are with our girlfriend. She's saying that if we step on this certain spot right here, we will be able to move these uh, spots up and down. I don't even know, but this is the distortion world, and we're going to have to try and follow uh, Giratina wherever it's at. Okay, so in our last adventure, or last episode, we were at Spear Pillar. Beef we, we beat a few commanders here and there. Barry tried to get his quote-unquote revenge. Didn't really work out. And, uh, what was that? Oh, damn. Okay, so that was the legendary, I think, Axel or Uxie or whatever. Yeah, wherever that Pokemon goes, you just follow. Anywho, yeah, uh, defeated a few commanders, Cyrus opened up the whole distortion world because Giratina happened to be the third legendary Pokemon of legend. Now we're in uh, Giratina's world. This is a scary, scary world. Very, very scary. Now, uh, let's see, one of, the, one of the main reasons why this episode goes for at least 40 minutes is just because, you know, I'm going left and right. Trying to figure this thing out. Trust me, guys. It's a little confusing when you're around here. And uh, the other one, was, the other two is that we're not just going to be battling Cyrus, but we're also going to try and capture Giratina as well. And it is a big cookie to swallow. And uh, the legendary Giratina, okay. Yes, all alone. It could explain why things can do. And then, okay, so we have to split up and find everything. So, yeah, me and Cynthia are just going to split up and find Giratina Cyrus and all that stuff and it's a few layers of just about a lot a lot of stuff right here guys um, and like I was saying yes we're gonna attempt to capture Giratina now remember if uh, if you do have an issue with capturing Giratina if you can't capture it right here do not worry you still get one more chance if you go visit it uh, and it's uh, I guess a, a secret cave or something I don't even remember what it was called but we'll eventually find it but trust me, guys, we're gonna try and capture it right here. Anywho, how are you guys doing? It's the middle of the, middle of the week. You guys should be feeling pretty good, right? Happy that uh, good old Draven has come out with a 40 minute long episode again? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why? Oh my god. As many of you guys already know, I don't like narrating for 40 minutes unless if it's live calm. But right here, I have to like, it, it's pretty much improv, what I do. Kind of improv, I have to I have to read what I'm watching and all that stuff and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's something. But you know, it usually comes out right. I may say some goofy stuff, may do stupid stuff, may talk about other stuff like about life and everything. But yeah, it's a distortion world. It's just one big ass void of a uh, evil place I guess I don't know anywho we're moving down right here and as you can see I think we're getting a little closer to where we need to be and look at that everything just keeps on appearing and there's Cyrus and he's like shadowy Pokemon isn't here I'm abandoned me here and disappear somewhere uh, was he here merely to interfere with my plan and incidentally do you understand the concept of genes I do if true genes are considered the blueprints of everything Pokemon and humans alike DNA strand and all that stuff. He, he's giving me a science lesson right now. And I guess he wants to re replicate whatever it is that he has for this plant and make it in his own vision. He basically wants to be God because he doesn't like what what the world looks like right now. And that's exactly what... what, what like how he describes uh, the red chains. It's a strain of uh, DNA. And he opened up the world and now we're here. And now he wants to... Uh, yeah, make a world appear and make it his own. So yeah, he's gonna go locate. He's gonna go locate Giratina. So so am I. But eventually we're gonna be battling him. And uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna switch up my Pokemon because eventually we're gonna be battling this guy. Now, as you can see, a lot of stuff keep on appearing. It's a little difficult because uh, it, it has you all dumbfounded, like all messed up when you're playing it on a joypad because. You're trying to go up, but you have to press left, if you guys know, know, know what I mean. And then you see appearing and disappearing spots. You think you're close. It's, uh, yeah. It's just one big old confusing thing right here. 
So, let's see, I think we should go right here. Or I think I've already gone here, it's just I have to go another way. I don't even know. But we're going all the way up. All the way up, and uh, let's see. There's one right here. And, uh... Okay, so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to step on every single hole right here. That way it can take us somewhere. Oh god. So how are you guys doing? Pretty good? Pretty awesome? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. How are you guys doing on today, this glorious day of Wednesday? If this comes out on a Wednesday. It does come down on a Wednesday. This is going to be a very, very long time rendering. God dang it, I can already, I can already see it now. And there we go, moving on forward. Yes sir, yes sir. And uh, let's see, moving left, right, all around, all the way, all around. Okay, so yeah, we're pretty much trapped right here. Now, remember, I actually, uh, I actually did this before I got the Pokemon Handbook for Pokemon Platinum. If you guys don't remember, a few episodes ago, I talked about how I actually bought a few handbooks, especially for Pokemon Leaf Green. You know, that's what I'm going off of just to make things a little simpler. So, yeah, my bad. It's a big my bad. If I would have had the handbook, then, you know, it would have gone a little bit quicker right here. Except for the whole uh, battle against Cyrus and, and Giratina and all that stuff. So, going right here. That's right. There we go. And uh, moving on a little bit forward. Going down, all the way down. And, uh, well, let's see. We're st okay, so we're going back up and down. I'm just, like, a little confused. Well, while making this whole thing, guys, it was just, like, it was just one big old confusing thing. Again, it would have gone a little bit smoother if I would have uh, had the, ha the handbook and stuff. Or, you know, a map on my phone. Whatever. So we're back right here, and I think I'm going to go on this side right here. Nope, disappears. And appears. Yes, it appears. Okay, so there should be a waterfall here somewhere. There should be. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. There should be a waterfall around here. I'm just looking for spots that can actually get me to where I need to be. Again, I don't like this. I don't like this going left and right and all that crud. Alrighty, going down. Come on! Okay, I see big ass leaves right here, so that must mean that we're really, really close. Alright. Okay, so now we're seeing like these big ass trees right here, and a big old boulder. And as you can see, one of the legendary Pokemon right here is looking at me, and it's letting me know that, hey, get that boulder and go down. So they're going to let you know from time to time what to do so make sure to have uh, make sure to have a Pokemon with strength to push these boulders down because it will lead you to Giratina and uh, of course make sure to have Pokemon with surf because there are uh, layers of water right here so let's go right here and uh, well nothing right there okay so we're just gonna be moving around okay so I, I'm just uh, yeah I gotta I gotta surf my Pokemon right now all right Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so right here. And going in right here. I'm pretty sure I could find someone. Or something. Let's see. Nothing. Okay. And uh, if you guys are wondering if you guys can capture any water type Pokemon around here, no. There are no Pokemon in here except Giratina. Trust me. If you try fishing, it won't work. And we're going down. And uh, okay. So just go straight to where that legendary poke. Oh crud! Yeah. Like I said, guys, go straight to where the legendary Pokemon is at, and then they will lead you to where you need to actually push the boulder at. And uh, let's see, he's looking at me all strange. So wherever the legendary Pokemon is landed, that's where you push the the boulder. If you push it in the wrong direction, then you're just gonna be screwed, or they're just gonna let you know. So here we go, pushing that strength. Look at that. And uh, there you go. It's inside. Oopsie is flying up. So that means you've accomplished your, your mission. So I'm going to go straight. I'm going to try and find something else right here. Find someone. And uh, okay. All righty. Yeah, talking to me about the Pokemon right there. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. That's why, you know, I consider you my girlfriend because you're awesome. Just like that. Okay, so 
Again, there should be a big ass river around here or something. All right, not there. Where, 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 where would you be? Let's see. Not right there. Oh god. Okay, so I might have to go back up. Probably. I don't even know. Okay. Or I could be. I could be going. I could be doing it wrong. I don't even know, guys. Some of you guys, I, I, I can already hear you guys yelling, and oh, would you look at that? He's like, hey, right here, look at me. Put that boulder, and put it right in that hole. In the hole. Okay, you got me, jackass? Alrighty, okay, so, let's use strength again, and uh, let's go ahead and press, press that stuff in there. Alrighty, and then, uh, well... Let's see. Going back up. I don't know why. But we're getting closer, guys. Trust me. We are getting closer to... We are getting closer to uh, where we need to be. As you can see, a lot of these things disappear and reappear. And, oh shit. That was Giratina. And just when you think you're closer, some some of these big-ass trees just, like, pop up. And it just... It, it literally tells you where to go and where not to go. And... Oh god, it's it's kind of scary. Imagine if you would actually have to do this as a kid. It's kind of scary. And there's uh, there's Cyrus. Okay, Cyrus is right there waiting for us. We're waiting for something. And uh, okay, alrighty, all right there. Cyrus is looking around somewhere. Look, as you can see, he he's one step ahead of us every single time. And uh, you know. Can't wait to battle him, because it's going to be an epic battle right here. And as you can see, nothing. Nothing's right there. Holy crud. All right. Uh, darn it. All right. Let's go right here. Yes, we found something. Okay, okay. And uh, yes, okay. Will this lead us down? All right. Hey, Cyrus, I'm flipping you off. Oh, crud. There we go. And he just disappears. Just like that, he disappears somewhere. I'm wondering where the hell are you, man? And, uh, well, he's right there with Giratina, I think. I don't know, but. <laughs> like, we see him one place. Oh, damn! So, this is the play. This is the river that I was talking about right now. You think you're going left and right, but then you need waterfall, right? No, you don't, because you just swim on that. You're literally floating on water, and the water's floating. Uh, if you guys catch my drift right there. Uh, when I first played this in Pokemon, like. Pokemon Platinum, uh, it really like, it really surprised me because it, for a while I haven't played Pokemon games at all because I was more focused on sports. And Pokemon Platinum was the first game back for playing Pokemon, and this one right here just surprised me. I was like, man, we have or Pokemon has progressed a lot. And as you can see, another legendary Pokemon letting me know, hey, put that boulder in here. Come on, man, we need a revenge. Go kick that SOB's butt. That's right. Okay. Alrighty. So we're pressing that right there. And, uh... Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go down the middle right here. And hopefully go downstairs. Okay. Alright, so I think we're in the area where we need to put in, uh... Yeah, where we need to put in uh, the boulders. And, again, remember, wherever the legendary Pokemon are, just go ahead and put those boulders in there. That way, uh, you know, you can get to the next section of this whole thing. Alrighty, so I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Alrighty, and then, uh, wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna push there. And that is another legendary. Bye bye Okay, so now we're gonna have to locate the other one. I don't know why I did that, so let's see. Moving left and right. Ah, there it is. Okay, so... This is the last one right here of the boulders, and, uh, bam, Oslov is just going up. Now, go ahead and find your girlfriend right here, and she's like, I guess the Pokemon must have gone with them, and, uh, okay. No time for chit-chat. Let's move on to the next thing. Man, you are looking so good. So friggin' good. Alrighty. So let's move on right here, and, uh, as you can see... Cyrus is there waiting for us somewhere. I don't even know. He's waiting for us somewhere. But he's going to disappear. Like, every single time you're getting closer to this guy, he just disappears. Just like that. 
You guys didn't even hear my uh, my uh, my snap. And uh, there he is. Oh crud! Oh, he he's pissed. Find somewhere to leave with others. Why would it? okay? Yeah, so they're having a, a nice argument about his ideals and what he really wants to do and all that stuff. And, uh, well, he's like, I won't lose. Okay, so here it is, guys. The final battle against Cyrus, the Galactic Boss. And he has five Pokemon now. Now, this is where it gets real interesting because, of course, he's got some beefed up Pokemon right now real beefed up Pokemon and this is where all the trouble comes this is where you know I realize that hey you know I got to train my Pokemon just a little harder because it will get stronger as you can see Houndoom comes out with a Thunder Fang right off the bat I am like annoyed right now and I flinch so that's like a double whammy right there for me and uh, yeah just like that guys makes quick work of my hound or of my hydra so oh god okay alrighty so now we're gonna have to move on to the next Pokemon right here let's go with toothless let's go let's do this bring it alright so let's see what do we do dig attack and uh, of course this sound doom is pretty fast so I don't think I'm gonna be making it past this guy I actually thought that you know Oh crap, you're just gonna make my Pokemon faint right here, but no. That's not the case. Alrighty, so here we go. He's trying to use Dark Pulse. And uh, let's go. Dig Attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? Almost does it. God dang it. And uh, of course, just like any other gym leader or big boss or anything like that, they do have healing items, so there we go. We're gonna have to really work for this one. We're really gonna have to work for this whole uh, of this victory right here, and uh, oh, crud. So there we go. Dig attack. Does it do it? Can it do it? I don't even know. Okay. Okay. So he's re he's returning his Hound Doom, and he's gonna be coming out with the big guns right here with Gyarados, and uh, as you can see, I am already at a disadvantage right now because my main Pokemon is Gyarados. Or one of my main Pokemon is Gyarados, and I'm just like annoyed right now that, you know, first first come, first serve, get my ass kicked. Bye. Oh, crud. <laughs> and just like that, another one of my Pokemon is defeated. So, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, here we go. We're. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough battle. Probably gonna be one of the toughest battles I'll, I'll have right now. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a fly attack. Hopefully, yes. He's got all the moves. Right now I got no chance whatsoever. But you you know what? It never hurts to try. There we go. Fly attack takes a good chunk. And here he is with the nice fangs. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so they, yeah, I'm gonna really have, like I'm really gonna have to work for all of this right here. So we're gonna go with another fly attack. Will it do it? Because that that ice fang is gonna be very very brutal to us. And there we go. Fly, hopefully for the win. No. And uh, there's that Giga Impact. Now remember, Giga Impact is just like Hyper Beam. It will need it. Uh, it will need a turn to actually recharge. So. That actually gives me a little bit of a, a chance right here. So here we go. Fly attack. Come on. Okay. So there we go. We took him out. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So that's one down. Now we got four more to go. And he's going to be coming out with the Weavile right here. Now, Weavile, evolved form of Sneasel. <laughs> Just a tad bit faster than, uh, than, uh, than the usual Pokemon that we're used to. You know, that Sneasel. Okay, so... Can never hurt to try right here and he's coming out with a fake out and uh, that right there made my Pokemon flinch so an X scissor oh crap and just like that I'm already at 11 HP right here so again getting my ass kicked people help me out <laughs> oh god and then uh, well you got you gotta love the berries that they put on there I, that, I should probably learn how to put berries on my Pokemon too, right? I probably should. Okay, so there we go. Not so effective, and there goes another one of my Pokemon. So he's already decimated half my team. 
He's already decimated half my team. Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to sacrifice Starblade right here. And I'm going to start using some of my max revives. And uh, there we go. Oh my god. Okay, so that's one. And here comes a Night Slash. Alrighty. And, uh, well, there goes uh, another one of my Pokemon right there. So, Hydra number four. Let's do this, man. Come on. Let's do this. Uh, let's go with a Surf Attack. And, okay, Ice Punch will not exactly be super effective against the Hydra. But here we go. Surf Attack. There we go. Come on. Ah, oh, God. Note to self. Train your goddamn Pokemon. Train your goddamn Pokemon. Oh, my God. Okay, so here we go. Thunder Attack. Come on. Finish him off. Nope, but he's paralyzed, so that's actually going to give me something right here, right? Okay, so let's go again with the Surf Attack. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Right here. And uh, Ice Punch. He's just going to Ice Punch me away until, like, I guess my Pokemon faints or something. So, here we go. Surf, come on! There we go. And that's another Pokemon down. So, <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all right here. Okay, so he's going to come out with his Houndoom. I need to take this guy out. Revenge! Revenge is on my mind right here. And there's that Thunder Fang. Good God! God, I freaking hate you, Houndoom. With a bloody passion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so... <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go, Gaia number two. All right. Drain Punch. And, uh, okay, that will not work. But here we go. Drain Punch. Let's do it. Oh, yes. That's a good sound right there. And there goes another one of his Pokemon. Suck it. Ah. Uh, okay. All righty. So... Donatello grows to level 49, which is also good. And here he comes out with a very powerful Pokemon. That is Honchkrow. So now, got a huge disadvantage going for me right here because Honchkrow is a very beefy Pokemon. It's a flying type. So I'm going to be using one of these Max Revives for Hydra because there is no way in hell Gaia number 2 is going to win. So I'm going to sacrifice Gaia number 2 and take this Drill Pick. Yep. Gotta love those drill picks, man. Come on. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Ugh. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta train my Pokemon. I really do. What a disappointment, Draven. What the hell, man? So, here it is. Hydra number four lowers his attack. And let's go with Thunder. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Finish him. Ah, oh, crud. See what I mean? Very beefy Pokemon. A super beefy Pokemon. And uh, there comes that Night Slash. Let's go. Ice Fang. Hopefully we can, like, freeze it or something. I don't even know. It freezes me, but it never freezes him. And uh, nearly makes him faint. And here's his patented Drill Pick attack, which, uh, yeah. It's going to take a nice chunk right there. So, of course, Galactic Boss Cyrus uses a full restore, you asshole you. What the hell, man? All right, so here we go. Get this Ice Fang. All righty. All righty. And you are not frozen. God dang it. Okay, so we're going to continue Ice Fanging this guy because, of course, Thunder's going to screw me around. It's going to screw me over. And uh, there we go. Honchkrow has been defeated. Yes! Eat it, Honchkrow. Okay, all righty. So who's next? He's got one more Pokemon, and it is Crobat. Now, Crobat is a very, very scary Pokemon because it is both poison and, oh crud, this guy's telling me I'm pushing him to the extreme. It is poison and flying, and on top of that, it is a very, very fast Pokemon. As you can see, it used, used cross poison and kicked my butt. So now, it's one-on-one, -on -one and I still got some max revive, so yeah, there is no way I'm going to win this. At this point right here, guys, I'm thinking that, man, I, I got to... I got a lot of editing to do. I got a lot of stuff to finish up. Or I got a lot of stuff to just like edit and uh, and do because I kind of felt like this guy was going to beat me right here. And then he use, he, he goes and does Confuse Ray. So that gives me another chance to actually use another revive on another Pokemon. So technically now, 
Let's see, not the old Jatao. Jatao or Gatao. I don't even know what to say. The Gatao Jatao. And, uh, alright, Toothless has recovered from fainting. So far, he's not hurting me, per se. He's not hurting me that badly. But, it's giving me more opportunities to heal my Pokemon and bring back some of my team members. As you can see, I'm going to put Starblade just in case. This Crobat will not go down easily, and uh, there goes an Air Slash right there. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh Jeebus and H Christ, oh! And there's that poison. Okay, just like I was expecting right there. Oh crap. Okay, so let's go with Toothless right here. I know it's at half HP, but listen to me, I could get a hit in. And, uh, oh crud. Ah, uh, crud. So there we go. It, it, it's very, very high on critical hits. You gotta love that. So let's go to Starblade and lower that attack. Oh, God. This was really annoying. Very annoying right now. Oh, God. Okay. So let's go with a fly and uh, Air Slash. What, what, what a surprise. Oh, my God. So there you go, guys. All right. Let's switch him up right here. And uh, again... Lowering your attack. So this time, let's get it. And, of course, he's using Air Slash. This guy's pissing me off. So here we go. Thunder. Let's get it. There we go. There we go. Come on. Finish him off. Asshole. Oh, God. And then, there, again, another, yeah, another Air Slash. So it's a good thing that we actually use two Intimidate attacks right here. But this guy right here is pissing me off with this Cross Poison attack. So at this point, I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna lose. He's not letting me. He's not letting me win. And uh, so far, we're at our uh, like at the tail end of this whole fight right here. And he's like, cannot be. It, can, it cannot be possible that I'm gonna lose. I'm saying the same thing, man. Come on. So let's go ahead and uh, you know what? Where's a full restore? Yeah, that's right. You used up all your full restores, you asshole. That's right. Hydra number four. Let's get it. Alrighty. Alrighty. And uh, we're all healed up, and you're using your air slash like if it was no no tomorrow. Okay. So let's go. Ice Fang and... Oh, God. It's getting annoying, man. You and your air slash attacks. You know, you're an air slash slut. That's exactly what you are. And there you go. How does it feel to fail? So that's another reason why this video lasts... For four minutes, and <laughs> he's like, I cannot accept this. Oh man, he's oh damn, he he's really really pissed right here. So yeah, we stopped them, and uh, yeah, after defeating, we'll make the world disappear. And uh, oh wow, you inherit my legacy. I am not inheriting anything at all from you, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay, so after defeating Cyrus, we're just having a brief talk about, you know, how what he's saying is a lie, and the existence of the distortion world is for Giratina right here. So now, of course, the girlfriend heals my Pokemon because, yeah, she just saw an epic battle between me and Cyrus, and, uh, oh damn, now it's time. Now it's freaking time to actually take on Giratina itself. Uh, trust me guys, I wanted to do this in three episodes, but I kind of feel like, you know, <laughs> you know, I've been, uh, yeah, too many episodes, too many episodes and stuff. Maybe we should make it all in one, even though it might be 40 minutes long and stuff. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to save my game because, uh, you know, I'm going to try and capture it right here. Again, if you do miss, uh, if you make a faint or if you don't capture it right here, you do have another chance of capturing, of capturing Giratina, but that's after you defeat the Elite Four. So, taking a step forward, the distortion world starts acting funny, and oh god. Oh jeez, okay, so. Alrighty, so, going straight forward, and now everything's tilting, and it seems that Giratina has been waiting for us for quite some time. Alrighty. Alrighty, Giratina. And there it is. It, it just appears. Just like that. Holy crap. It's eyeing me. Ah, oh, damn. 
This would be scary if it was real life, but this is Pokemon, and uh, well, here it is, guys. Welcome to the legendary battle against Giratina, level 47. Oh, crud. So here it is, guys. Going up against Giratina, it is both a ghost and dragon type Pokemon. That is a good typing right there, guys. Um, uh, it got some good moves. One of them, Shadow Force. That's scary. Very, very... F or Shadow Force or Phantom Force? I don't even know. Shadow Force, but... Uh, it, at this point right here, I'm, I just started to realize that I don't have any moves to, that will actually paralyze it or put it to sleep. Except for Thunder, but Thunder is a... Uh, <laughs> it, it, yeah... Thunder's uh, not really that accurate, and it doesn't always paralyze. And of course, there's that ominous wind attack. And uh, as you can see, I'm not really having a good, uh, not really having a, the best of luck right now. And there's that Dragon Claw. So here we go. Thunder. Not much of a. Uh, oh damn. Oh damn. And uh, oh shit, it vanished instantly. And uh, okay, so. There's that Shadow Force attack. Very, very powerful move. And just like that, Hydra number four misses and has 17 HP, which is annoying. So I got to heal the Pokemon up. Oh, God. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So here we go, Hydra, Hyper Potion. And, uh, well, I, I, I really... Oh my god, and it's got Ancient Power too, so remember this too, guys. Ancient Power heightens up all of its stats. Thankfully, it didn't happen right here, and uh... Did I forget that it's very, very fast? Holy sheesh. Holy crud, and uh... At this point right here, guys, I'm just trying to paralyze it. I'm trying to make it easier for me to actually try and capture this Pokemon. But, you know, it's so fast, it's so annoying, and it's so strong, it's just, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. Thunder attack. There we go. And uh, no par <laughs> no paralysis. I'm still not getting a... Yeah, I'm not getting a good look right now. So I'm going to use another Hyper Potion. Heal the Pokemon. Make it look pretty good. Awesome. That kind of stuff. Alrighty. And, uh, well, here comes another Ancient Power. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, so what can I do? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna continue paralyzing the, try and paralyze this guy. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt it, but it might not work. So there we go. There's a dragon claw right there. Oh god. So there we go. Oh god. Yeah, I'm really uh, right now. I'm not having the best of luck. I am not having the best of luck, and it's just it's just frustrating. So. Again, healing up my Hydra number four. Oh, God. Suck. You suck, Giratina. Like, I've, I've barely made a scratch on this Pokemon, and it's already kicking my butt. Oh, God. So, Ancient Power. Oh, God. See, this is the reason, guys, why this, this video lasts for about 40 minutes, because <laughs> good old Draven decides to put both battles here. And he's very under level too against these guys, so yeah, that's always a that's always a great thing. And uh, still no paralysis right here, so you know what? I just say fuck it. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a, a an ice fang right here, and uh, I got two HP left. Let's try and make it. Yeah, let's try and make it faint a little. Like you know, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, I can uh, make it faint because I will be able to capture it later on, or I can try and capture it, and you know. I'm getting so frustrated that I was just like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna make it faint. Fuck it. So let's try and make it faint. Alrighty, so let's see. Ominous Wind. Man, my Gyarados is getting his ass kicked! Okay, so let's see. Thunder. And, of course, Giratina has to be an asshole and take that away from me. Oh my god. Okay, alrighty. So there's Shadow Force right there, and uh, it... There we go. Ice Fang. Come on. Make it faint. Make it faint, you asshole. Oh! Okay! Alright! Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start throwing Pokeballs at it. Never mind, I'm gonna try and capture it. Let's see. Uh, Timer Ball. Alright. Of course, make sure to bring Timer Balls, guys. Uh, they will... They, 
they're the closest thing to effective. And oh, nearly caught this guy. Oh god. And I guess, I guess. Uh, oh wow, Giratina's almost made my Pokemon faint. So uh, at this point, I'm just like, nah. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna make him faint. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this. I will win this. Here we go. Stay oh come on! Don't be messed up. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, you know what? I gotta heal my Pokemon. I cannot let Hydra number four faint. It's toughened out everything. It's getting his ass kicked. At least don't let it make him faint. Come on. So there it is. You're not fainted. And there we go. Okay, so that Shadow Force is pretty strong right there. So, all right, let's go back to the Pokeballs and see if we can try and capture this guy. And, uh, come on. Come on, stay in there. Stay in the goddamn ball! Ah, oh, no! Oh, my God. I hate you. And, uh, that ancient power is, uh, one messed up deal right there. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Timer ball, stay in there. Oh, my God! Oh, God. Come on! Ugh, oh, I hate you. Alright. Gotta heal my Pokemon. Gotta heal my Pokemon. Gotta heal him up. Gotta heal him up. Uh. Alrighty. So, we're healing this guy up right here again. And, uh... Well, let's see. Shadow Force. Oh God, I hate you. Giratina, just stay in the goddamn ball! You asshole Pokemon, you. Come on. Timer ball! Stay in there. Stay in there. Oh, <laughs> come on! Oh, my God. I can't believe you. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm going to use X Defend because screw this, man. Uh, I can't keep on getting it. Like, I can't keep on having this, man. So, there it is. Shadow Force again. Oh, God. This is why I can't have anything nice. Alright. Here we go, Shadow Ball. Come on! Stay in there! Stay in the freaking ball! Stay in there! Come on! Ah, oh, you suck. You suck. Okay, alrighty. So, we're, we're, we're having a little bit of fun right here, as you can see. This Pokemon will will not stay in the goddamn ball! Alrighty. Get in there, come on! Oh god, you suck, Giratina. I hate you. With a goddamn passion. And there's that Dragon Claw, and uh. <laughs> Hydra number four is sticking it out right here. Okay, come on, man! Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! Stay in the goddamn ball! No! <laughs> you suck! Oh, God. Hydra number four, you are a champ. Oh my god. Okay, so. That's okay. Uh, screw it. Let's go with Donatello. It's gonna give me more, like, more defense right there, so. That way we can just keep on throwing balls right here because, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I hate you. Come on, Giratina. Don't be a dick. Oh, <laughs> you suck. Oh my god, 40 minutes of suffering right here. Why? Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Let's just throw another Pokeball. I don't care right now. I really don't. Oh god, come on. Stay in the ball. Oh, you suck! Oh god. Oh god. Why? 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 Why can't you just, like, be in the ball? Stay in the goddamn ball. Come on. Stay in there. Oh, you suck. You suck. Okay. And here comes the Dragon Claw. At this point, I'm already thinking, you know what? You're going to faint. Okay, one more ball. Come on. You know, I say one more, but it really isn't one more. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in the goddamn ball. And? Yes! 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 Oh, yes. Suck it, Giratina. Suck it. Alrighty. The Ghost and Dragon type Pokemon. The Renegade Pokemon. It was banished for the violence and silence and whatever. Yada, yada, yada. 
There you go. And no, we are not giving Giratina a nickname because no, it will not be on our team. Whew. Okay, so understood us that Pokemon Shadow Peter was captured. And uh, here comes Cyrus. And he's like, you're doing an irrational thing to remain in existence. Holy crap. And he made an... Yeah. Why must you protect the two worlds and spirit? Vague, yada, yada, yada. And permutation. Yeah. They're having another debate. And me, I just don't care. I just want to win badges. But as you can see, this is what, you know... The whole story ends, you know, the whole Team Galactic one, and Homeboy here is like, silence! Enough of your blathering. Justify the spirit, yada yada yada, deluding themselves, uh, happy and safe, emotions rolling aside, rage, hatred, frustration. These ugly emotions are raised and yada yada yada. I will never, we will never see eye to eye this, I promise. I will break the secrets of this world. With that knowledge, I will create a complete and new perfect world. One day, you will awaken to my, cre uh, my creation. Fuck you all. It flips us off. So that's pretty much it for these guys, and uh, yeah, my girlfriend, she's like, you know, there's a lot of sadness and compassion on this guy. It is what it is. Let's go home. Whatever you say, babe. Alrighty. Alright, so there is the hole. We gotta go into the hole and return back to our own world. I'm feeling happy because it's finally over, guys. It's finally over. Oh my god. Anywho, guys. We'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Thank you guys for bearing with me for four, another 40 minutes. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah, another episode will be coming out tomorrow. See you guys.